Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel guys. Uh, today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about how you can actually do exploratory data analysis. Now before going ahead with respect to this particular video guys, if you are looking for career transition advice towards data science, please make sure that you watch this video till the end. Uh, because at the end of this particular video, I am going to share some important information to you all. But just understand that. Uh, what if if you have a data set and you don't have to worry about anything as such use just one kind of libraries Understand what all exploratory data analysis can be done on that, right? It is, isn't it amazing because I'll tell you why I'm saying this specific things, you know uh, I'd actually created something called as machine learning pipelines and in this particular video the first video was all about if, if I just show you the video over here the first video was about exploratory data analysis and in this video, when I was doing everything from scratch, it took me somewhere around 20 minutes to explain you all what all steps you can actually do. But what if, if I take the same data set, if I take the other data set, you know, and I don't have to worry about like, probably it may take somewhere around 20 minutes, but instead, what I'll do is that I will just try to complete it within five minutes, you know, just by executing two lines of statement. And one more advantage of the exploratory data and the library that we are going to use is something called as pandas profiling. And this particular library is amazing. Now, I have got many questions from many students saying that, Krish, what are the steps in exploratory data analysis? I have just, I've just started data science, you know, and I don't know all the steps. So how do I find out all the steps? One way is that guys just go to my video, check it out. I've explained in a proper way. The other way is basically to do the reverse engineering. Now pandas profiling is a wonderful library. This is an open source at all, right? And if this is able to do an exploratory data analysis by just taking the data set, why not? We do the reverse engineering for this particular library, like what output it is generating by that we can definitely understand how, what are the actual steps required in the exploratory data analysis itself. Now to begin with, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you two examples. I'm going to take one data set which does not have any missing values and another data set which has some kind of missing values. And I'll try to use this pandas profiling to do the exploratory data analysis. And you will be amazed, like within five minutes, we will be getting the complete reports, you know, complete report. We can also save that in the form of HTML file. So let's go ahead. So the first step is that guys, we need to go into our Anaconda prompt. Uh, so what I'm going to do quickly is that I'm going to open my Anaconda prompt. I'm going to go into the environment which I am actually working on right now so that I install the pandas profiling in this. Now in order to install, you can see that it is clearly mentioned pandas install, uh, sorry, pip install pandas dash profiling. So what I'm going to do, pip install pandas dash profiling right so this is my pip install so once i execute this you will be able to see that it is getting executed and over here it says that requirement already satisfied because i have already installed over here so this is the first step just go into your environment where you are actually working and just write pip install pandas dash profile amazing right done your work is done now i will go into my one of the pages or one of the videos i showed you over here right and you can see that how much code we have actually written to find out numerical value, discrete value, uh, missing values. Again, the link for this particular playlist will be given in the description, guys. You can check it out. That was the whole code. You can see how much code I've actually written. You know, more than 100 lines of code I'd actually just written to do the exploratory data analysis. Okay. So this is, this is what. Now, what if I make this simple by using Pandas profiling? Now, to begin with, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import NumPy pandas and what I had installed right pandas profiling that I'm going to import so from pandas profiling I'm going to import something called as profile report and this report will actually display the whole um, exploratory data analysis report considering the data set that we are giving inside this okay so in the first instance what I'm going to do is that I'm going to import a data set which is already present in sklearn so we'll say sklearn.datasets import load underscore diabetes Okay, and this particular data set, understand guys one thing, this particular data set will be basically having a lot of data and columns. So what I'm going to do is that over here, as soon as I import load underscore diabetes, I am going to initialize load underscore diabetes. So as soon as I initialize this, you know, I will be getting diabetes underscore data dot data. So this 
if I use dot data, it will be consisting of all the data that are present in that. If I just go and write dot feature underscore names, you know, diabetes underscore data dot feature underscore name, because this is the variable that is getting saved, right? So if I go and write dot underscore uh, dot feature underscore names, I will be getting all the features that are that are present in this particular data that we have loaded from the SQL learn data sets. Okay. Then if I do df dot head, you can see that I've combined this into a data frame where I've given my data, I've given my columns. That is what is required in order to create a data frame. Now, so this is what is my data frame looks like. And remember, uh, I have already explored this. This does not have any missing value. The data why you're seeing in this particular format is it is already normalized. Okay, so let's let me just uh, and in order to execute profile report, it's pretty much simple, guys. We just have to use profile report. Okay, and this will actually create a simple report of the exploratory data analysis. So the first parameter will be my data frame, which I have actually created. Okay, the second parameter is what a kind of title you want. And the third parameter is something called as explorative is equal to two. You just set it as true. If you want to see more parameters, just press shift tab. Here you'll be able to see all the information. Okay, just before the bracket, press shift tab, you'll be able to see all the information. And if you have any queries with respect to the implementation, just go inside this particular page. Okay, in this page, you'll be having all the information because since this is a completely open source, okay, all the information itself. Now, what I've done, I've initialize this profile report i have given three parameters one is my df one is my title and one is this explorative is equal to true now uh, let me do one thing let me quickly execute in front of you you'll be able to see that within five minutes you know within five minutes not only five minutes guys just two minutes you know you will be able to see that the whole report will get created now in order to create the report you know you just you can use two techniques one is something called as two underscore widgets you know widgets basically means you'll display all the report within your jupyter notebook the other one is something that we can create an output html you know in the form of html so that we can see in the new page so first we'll try with widgets so over here you can see i'm just using profile dot two underscore widgets so as soon as i execute this probably it will take if you have a slow computer guys it will take around two to three minutes i have a little bit faster computer so probably it may be within 30 seconds this will actually show you and this also depends on the amount of data that you're having suppose you're having many number of features you have many number of records that much time it will be taking okay so make sure that uh, you have a powerful system if you feel that your computer is very very slow try to execute this in google, uh, google collab okay uh, in google collab you'll be able to quickly you know uh, render this kind of reports very very quickly itself you know so it will be very very much easy and google collab is definitely faster now you can see that within 10 seconds my whole report is getting generated and it is so nice guys see this report it is so amazing you know so first of all as soon as i gave my data set my data set you can see everything is numerical value right over here so over here number of variables 10 perfect 10 features are there number of observation 442 missing cells zero missing cell percentage 0, 0.0 duplicate rows zero duplicate rows a percentage 0, 0.0 total size in memory it is also saying that how much memory it is taking in order to load that specific data okay numerical value category value everything is given okay then you have you you have some of the details like when did the analysis start analysis finished duration version which pandas profiling version it is using you can also do it by using uh, <clears throat> from the command line and uh, these all configurations are there then we go to the variable side now see variable also it is pretty much amazing for each and every variable that is present over here it will analyze okay it will analyze each and every variable present in the data set so here you can see uh, i have age over here so age it is saying that how many distinct records are there how many unique records how many missing values everything mean mean i mum mum so all this information is there right you can see over here maximum so we have mean, minimum, maximum, zeros, zeros, uh, memory size, everything are there. You can see that how the distribution is there, right? Amazing distribution. You can see from what value to what value the distribution actually present, right? Not only this, guys. Let me just go to the next feature that is sex. Okay. Now in sex also, you'll be able to find all this information, right? And this is what it is basically saying with respect to sex. I have these values with respect to BMI, you know, how it is actually distributed. Uh, how the values are actually distributed because this is already normalized data understand that thing guys then we have bp all this particular data just understand guys reverse engineering suppose you are very very new to 
data analysis, right? You're very, very new to data analysis. At that time, if you want to know what all things we have to do, first of all, use this particular library and do the reverse engineering technique by understanding, okay, the first state, it has found out that how many numerical variables there, how many category variables are there, how many number of observations are there, how many number of missing cells are there, how many number of duplicate values are there. The next step, you go with understanding each and every variable distribution. Uh, what is the minimum value? What is the mean value? What is the maximum value? Many more things. Similarly, you go with the third thing that is interaction. Interaction basically say, says that if I have age and BMI, how are they behaving with respect to the distribution? You can see clearly guys over here. It's an amazing, uh, you know, display of information over here, right? How age and BMI are almost correlated, how the data is distributed, you know, correlation will also come. Now, suppose if I want to find out age and BP, right? How it is correlated, amazing diagrams again, how age and S1 is correlated, right? How age and S2 is correlated, right? How age and S S6 values actually correlated. All the column information we'll be able to find in that particular data set itself, right? Now, the most important thing, you know, now again, again, understand guys, with the help of reverse engineering, after finding this, after finding this, you need to find out about the interaction, which we have already done. You know, if you go and see my, um, the house price prediction over there, I've also done in this particular way. I have understood how the distribution is with respect to the data set, you know, then we have correlation, correlation, everything is at, a, it has applied Pearson correlation, Spearman correlation, uh, Kendall's correlation, you know. Uh, we have fake uh, correlation. So all the different kind of correlation has been defined and it has basically made, made you understand. Now, what about missing values? Now, this basically says that guys, we don't have any missing values. Suppose if we had any missing values with respect to must, uh, any of the features, this would have been like from uh, this zero to one basically means hundred percent from this hundred percent, how much missing values are there? Like 20% then it will just be pointing till point eight. Okay. But right now, I, as I told you, I don't have any missing values. Similarly, you can see there is a, some sample of data set. Now this is amazing, right? Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly create an output.html file for the same profile so that I can see in the web page also. Suppose you want to send this particular file to some stakeholders to understand how the data is. I can just execute this and probably this will also be getting executed very, very quickly guys. Uh, one thing after, as soon as you do this, right? If you go over here, you can see that there is an out output.html. So same in the same working location, you will be able to find that okay so if i go over here and if i just click on output dot one html so here it is you can see that it is pretty much amazingly displaying every information some of the warnings are also there uh okay uh sorry this is output one let me just go to the output dot html okay so here you can see that we have overview we have reproduction we have variables how the data is distributed with respect to each and every variable same information it is displayed in this particular manner you can see the distribution over here in a pretty much amazing way right isn't it amazing so if you know all the steps but just by reverse engineering this particular library you will be able to understand so many things okay now what me what i'll do is that i'll take one more example guys i'll take the example of titanic data set okay so this is my train.csv this is the titanic data set which i have actually downloaded from the kaggle website itself so let me just execute this okay so this is i am just going to write a comment over here saying that okay this is my titanic uh data set you know okay and i'm just going to make this as a markdown so that it looks a title so that you can also refer you know so i have my train data set so i'll go to execute this is my df dot head why I'm taking Titanic data set guys, because here in the Titanic data set, we have a lot of missing values, you know, so it will be amazing to see how the report is actually generated. Again, the same code I'm going to use for the uh, profile report. That is the class that our library that I have imported. This requires two to three parameters. You, you can also give just one parameter that is DF. Okay. So I've given DF. You can see over here. I've given DF. I've given title. I've given explorative is equal to two. So let me just execute it. Uh, after this is executed, I'm just going to use first of all two wizards. So this will again probably take hardly 10 to 15 seconds. And then you will also be able to see a lot of information guys. So I tell everyone why reverse engineering is very, very important. You have something, you know, and if you don't know what are the steps, use this library, get to know all about the steps, what is actually required, right? Isn't it pretty much amazing because you are able to do everything in front of you. Don't require anybody's help, right? And then if you want to do manually, you can also try doing manually by, you know, just by 
googling things like how to do this how to do that you know how to find out the missing values and all so amazing we have got over here so the number of variables is 12 number of observation is 891 you can see the missing cells now how many missing cells are there somewhere around 866 okay missing cells is somewhere around 8.1 percentage right total size in memory how many number of category variables are there how many number of numerical variables are there how many number of boolean variables are there so all this information 9.64 seconds it just took to do the complete exploratory data analysis guys isn't it amazing you know so here with respect to passenger id you can see that i'm having district count of 891 unique value is 100 percent missing value is zero and uh, this is how the distribution looks like mini mean minimum maximum zero zero uh, all values are there similarly with respect to survive okay um all this information you can check it out i'm just going to go to the missing values in age we have a lot of missing values you know we have somewhere around 17 missing percentage is 19.9 you know so we can actually see that we also have something like cabin in cabin also we have a whole number of missing values right so this missing values is basically saying us what are the missing values over here that is also present it is also saying that okay that is it is a high cardinality values you know it is a high cardinality feature so that information is also there interaction you can see interaction with respect to passenger id and age um suppose if i want to see age and sibling spouse if i want to see age and fare okay if i want to see age and park and if you have not seen my exploratory data analysis with respect to titanic data set it is the video is present in the complete machine learning playlist you can check that okay now going to the correlation you have all the correlation over here with respect to all the features that you have over here and uh, if you see this color it is highly correlated so if you if you see this particular example of uh, fair and um, if you see sibling spouse it is correlated somewhere more than uh, 0.25 uh, okay and uh, different type of correlation you can actually find out from here. okay there were reverse inverse uh, reverse uh, correlation also considering this color that we have so finally i'm just going to convert this into output one dot html and uh, what i'm going to do is that probably i'm just going to go to my folder now and i'm just going to click on output one dot html so this is what output one dot html report is getting created you can see all the same reports is being executed over here now you can provide this particular report to any stakeholder that you want right so isn't it amazing just tell me just hardly within 10 to 15 minutes we were able to do it but you understood right exploratory data analysis when we are using pandas profiling we are hardly able to just get it in five minutes within five minutes I, I i hardly think it took around the five minutes you know so all these particular values all these particular reports will be attached in the description of this particular video in the github so please make sure that you download it from there so guys if you are looking for career transition advice toward data science please make sure that you go and watch springboard india youtube channel because here you will be able to find a lot of real world data scientists and they will be discussing about uh various things related to the industries that they are working on so all the link of this particular youtube channel will be given in the description so yes this was all about this particular video i hope you like it please do subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye